All right, thank you once again for joining us today at Matoka TV Studio. All right, in this video you are about to watch right now, Apostle Adam outside the video shocking secret to the body of Christ. Do not break these two secrets until 2023. It works amazing, and I show you it's going to bless your life so much. All right, over to you, sir. Of that family to the underworld. So demon spirits are rising into that family from the underworld to administer the justice of darkness among those people. If you are still with me, say amen. amen. I know very soon your amen will finish, but I need to tell you the truth so that when we begin to pray, you will wake up. Some of us don't pray because they are prayer meetings. Prayer has become our lifestyle. More than half of my life, I spent as an intercessor. So if I tell you some things, trust me. I have seen many things. I've seen from the 80s. I can give you accounts of patterns, accounts of things that have happened, and we discovered eventually that Satan is not in control. We didn't know this until we began to pray. I was an eyewitness. I was there in the sitting room when my elder brother ran mad. You know what it means to run mad? Yeah, I, I witnessed it myself. I've seen that. They brought my elder sister from school, and this right leg was two times fatter than this left leg. What was the problem? They said they were taking her, her to the theater to amputate one of the legs. Then one of the doctors now said, okay, let them tear the leg open and see what is inside. When they tore it open, what came out was pores, two buckets of pores from one, one leg. Two buckets. My other brother had a sickness that could not be diagnosed in any hospital in Nigeria. They took his fingernails and his hair to London. And after analysis, it came back zero. There was a linkage. So all of us were churchgoers. We didn't know Jesus. We like to be Christians, and when we feel fun, we say Christianity. But the controller of the space, demons were ascending and descending. I pray that somebody will be provoked in this place. <laughs> Strange things. So by the time my mom was going to deliver me, I came out from the womb with facial palsy. Half of my face paralyzed day to day. And I asked God, when I started knowing God, I asked him, why did you allow me to come like this? He said, young man, the people that sought your life, one of them was a midwife in the hospital where you were supposed to be conceived. And when they saw you like this, they felt their arrow work. This is this your thing is what kept you. I said, okay, okay, now you have kept me. Can we negotiate how the healing can come? He said, no, that will be your, your trademark. No healing will come for that one. <laughs> Just a sign that you pass through that place, that furnace. This is a sign. I've seen manipulations of all kinds. And people need to weep for themselves if there is no priesthood if there is no fire within their space, it's something to weep about. Because you might see a baby born today and everybody is, is celebrating. Ah! But demons are still ascending and descending. And one day, one of the demons will descend with that baby. There is no need to rejoice about anything that happens. Because as long as the linkage leads to the underworld, that your joy can be turned to mourning suddenly. Suddenly, 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 someone coming from a passing out parade somewhere in the north to go home here in the east, and then right there in local jack. The accident was not even very intense. Everybody came out without a scratch, but somebody died. That's what happens when death casts a shadow. When people become nominal Christians and they go to church on Sunday to sing hymn, 
Jacob tonight I pray that God will open your eyes in the name of Jesus everything going wrong and you know my dad studied to PhD level the first inclination he will have is to analyze the situation cerebrally and a time came when there was no cerebral logic you could bring to the table that could explain why the events were taking place so it took time before my father accepted that somebody somewhere is responsible because he will analyze it yes maybe the the, the heavy metals the heavy metals in this case uh, <laughs> what you need is a dream like like jacob for your spiritual eyes to be open to see the same context that your natural eyes is seeing that your natural eyes cannot give interpretation to your spiritual eyes will open tonight in the name of jesus <laughs> linkages and demons can be ascending and descending ascending and descending new ideas from the kingdom of darkness coming into the family and before you know it new dimensions of reproach will be administered because demons are receiving messages and are administering things that are coming from the heart of the wickedness that is in the kingdom of darkness and as long as there's no altar to challenge the position there is no one that say okay that one became an ism this one worship water spirit me i will worship holy ghost except somebody gives himself to god as an offering that should waste and spoil so that others can rise the story will never change jacob said this is a terrible place that's a place he used his two legs to enter but anywhere priesthood has entered it's, it's a terrible place it's a terrible place you cannot understand it because it's a trading floor for spiritual entities it's just like the stock exchange house where you trade stocks that's how spiritual entities trade in destiny they trade in life they trade if there is no priesthood you become a victim of trade the altar begins to cry we need one more life this time we need a virgin 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 and it is you you have been going to church kept yourself as a virgin and <laughs> you can become an object of trade i pray tonight that you will dream a dream That your eyes will be open to see the context of the true battle and then you will know that more than half of us here are not prepared for life more than half of us more than half of us on this field on this ground <laughs> are a comic are a joke you are not prepared for life every time hamatan comes the elders will come and gather and say Kai, there's too much cold we need a fire what they're saying is the land has been quiet without mourning for long we need a barrier we have we have not eaten cow we have not eaten goat meat it is long they brought offering to me and they are in the city they're in lagos they're in enugu eh? they are in the u.s Then all the elders of the clan, we, they have a way of communicating. We took from my family last year. It's from your own family, we'll take this time home. I said, no, ah, but I brought two cows. I brought two cows. My people brought something and I brought to you people. It's also equivalent to, you say, it's true. Your people are helping us, they're helping us. Okay, well, we'll leave them. 
you there? There's the place, your place is quiet. These guys are trading, they are trading like draft. It is you they are considering as an object of the transaction. That's what happens when the linkage links to the underworld and demons are ascending. They will be coming with demands from the belly of hell. We need not just a virgin, we need a, a fair virgin that is fair in complexion. We need a pastor. It's a pastor's blood we need now. <laughs> oh, you're laughing. Mm. Some witches held a meeting in the city of Zaria and they decided that this night is pastor's blood they want to suck. That normal people, they pastor. And they distributed themselves to pastor. And one of them came to my father in the Lord. And he was praying and he, he saw the witch in her witchly form. And then he laughed. Ooh. One week later, he went to preach in Kaduna. And the woman began to manifest. And when they went to the woman, he saw the same woman's face that he saw by his window. And the woman began to confess that that night, they agreed that his pastor's blood they would drink. And she made a mistake. Came to his house. And that thing that was laughter, eh? that laugh, in the spirit, it was a roar of a lion. <laughs> Please help me ask your neighbor, can your prayer change anything? <laughs> it was a roar. It means you cannot trade here. You traded in the other compound. You traded in this compound. You cannot trade here. And so many of you sitting here today, you were the third born. But now you are the first born. Because two have been taken for trading. And you think that in that place where they trade, that they don't laugh there. They trade in blood and trade in destiny. That's what happens when the ladder leads downwards. But when the ladder leads upwards, angels will be ascending and descending with policies from heaven. And through that altar, heavenly policies can be administered within the territory, within the government. And the things that are the will of God can be done on earth as it is done in heaven. When we became tired of, of being church goers, I now said, Me, I will sow myself as a seed the way you are doing now. Let it be that I died, I'm dead, and I'm hid in Christ. And let us give it 10 more years and see what will be controlling that family. So when we say there is a call to prayer in eastern Nigeria, we are not coming for an event. We are coming looking for people that will sell themselves so that light can break out where darkness was coming silent. I went to preach in Oka and I woke up in the night. I said, Lord Jesus. And I began to see blood 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 i saw that in oka there was human sacrifice in oka not in the 80s 2021 i saw that there was human sacrifice in the land darkness those are those are policies that came from here the demons revealed it to the ezemo and the ezemo can invite a spirit of violence into the territory What reigns in the land is what our priesthood will allow. For most of you that came here, you came here so that you can give your life as an offering. 
We are tired of preachers that cannot change the climate. We are tired of, of activities that cannot change destiny. What we need now are altars and priests that know the way of the priesthood in the kingdom of light so that we can infuse the entire land with light and with power. Oh, I gave myself. I gave myself. He said, let me die, but let others survive. I gave myself to the altar of prayer. I said, okay, you can take me, but set the captives free. There is no man that gave himself the way you are doing that will not change the entire land. No man. As I speak, as I speak unto you, there are angels descending. They are descending. They are descending into the territory. They are descending into the land. Some things will begin to shift. This night, this night, many of you will have an encounter this night. Consume the sacrifice that is on the altar. It is advisable for you to remain on the altar. To remain on the altar. So that when that fire comes, it will consume you. And a new thing will begin to happen in the space. Aye! Angels ascending and descending, ascending and descending, ascending and descending, ascending and descending. Ha, 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 ha.